uh, we are here today to uh, bring your uh, game on um, series with uh, Alfred from 360 Degrees Adventures in Estonia. And uh, he's going to present uh, an amazing game they have built. And again, thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, the floor is yours. Right. Hello. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Uh, so, um, as Lisa already introduced me, my name is Alfred. And um, before I even start, I will uh, uh, share my screen. So, I will present the presentation. Hopefully, you can see it. So, yeah, I'm coming from uh, Adventure Company 360 Degrees. Uh, we organize different adventure games and nature tours. And also, uh, we, we organize uh, team trainings and end-to-end -end services as well. Mainly, we are located in Estonia. We organize events in Estonia, but also now we, we work in uh, Poland, in Mariehamn, and uh, some projects have been made uh, in Latvia, Lithuania, Finland, and also in Sweden, but mainly, of course, in Estonia. Uh, I want to specifically, I want to talk about the game called Message from the Main Office because I think this is one of our most popular game of all time. And um, and yeah, in this game, um, our game game manager or instructor will represent him or herself as a courier who will uh, deliver a package. And in this package or in this box, uh, players can find the fax machine, which is not very popular uh, anymore nowadays. But in this game, works very well. On top of the fact, on top of this uh, fax machine, they can find uh, the brief or actually the message uh, that uh, was has has been printed out. Uh, and this message looks like this. Um, to personalize this uh, even more for each company, we will put uh, on below on this brief, we will put the, the name of the CEO. So it makes the feeling that this message is coming from their boss. And then they have to um, read this, read out this brief. So basically the goal of the game is of course to, uh, to gain as many points as possible, but also uh, to make it as efficiently as possible as well. So um, efficiently, I mean, they have to give as many correct as answers as possible. And for that, uh, the instructor will uh, give, give them the chance to uh, predict what kind of uh, results they will get during the game. And th for that, we have like five plans. So the first plan is maximum. Uh, that means they will give 100% correct answers. So all 50 questions on the field will be answered correctly. Uh, if they are that confident, they can choose plan number one. If they are not that confident, there are other plans like quality. Uh, that means they give correct 75% uh, uh, of the questions correctly and uh, so on. Now also, uh, in the middle of the game, when the <clears throat> 45 minutes of the game have, has been uh, played, the instructor will um, tell in the radio transmitter that uh, they have a, a chance to uh, change the prediction. So if they feel that they are even more efficient uh, uh, or less efficient, then they can choose a different plan. But if they feel that they predicted uh, like great, then they can stick on, the, on this plan that they choose chose in the in the beginning of the game. And also, um, as I said, they can um, they can um, team every each team have a radio transmitter or walkie-talkie, and uh, that is uh, to communicate to other teams. So the goal of the game is also uh, cooperate uh, with the teammates but also with the other team as well. Uh, and what I mean about uh, co co cooperation with the other team is um, if somebody is answering question incorrectly, then the question will close for, uh, for half an hour. Uh, but the other teams 
can help them out. So that's why they uh, use the radio transmitter to talk to other teams that please, if, if somebody can come and help us out to answer this question that, our, that, that we um, uh, answered incorrectly, maybe the other teams can uh, fix it and answer it correctly. So basically what they will find out during the game that this is not a competition between the teams, but this is more like uh, a common goal between all the teams. So, um, so yeah, they have to work together, and that's why this is a very good team building, team building game. Uh, now, what are the benefits of the game, or how, uh, or how it suits uh, for who and uh, and, and where? <clears throat> so basically, it can be set up anywhere. Um, it works outdoors. In the beginning of the game, it can be indoors where the fax uh, is delivered and where they read the uh, message. But uh, yeah, most of the game will be uh, outdoors. So they have to use the tablet computer or the phone uh, to move around to, through the points and answer the questions. <clears throat> Uh, also, it uh, does not have any competition, as I said, between the players. People need to collaborate and compete against the game. It suits the group from, from 12 persons to 40, but uh, in case of the larger groups, two separate games can be created uh, and started in the same time. So, uh, so, yeah, works well for the smaller groups, but also if we duplicate the games, can be made uh, for the bigger, bigger groups as well. Now, it's uh, actually suitable for everybody, but especially for those who are looking uh, team training uh, to yeah, collaborate, to communicate and, uh, and so on. Uh, and also, the game is easy to modify, so if there is interest to change the questions in the game, maybe they want to put uh, more like the personal touch in the game, so the, the questions in the game can be uh, sw uh, switched and, uh, and yeah, how many questions uh, the client want to change is up to, up to them. Uh, there is 50 questions in the game, so if uh, the client wants to change just five questions, it's okay. But also if they want to change 40 questions, also uh, works great. And it uh, takes about an uh, hour and a half uh, to, to play the game. And in the, in, the, in the end of the game, the instructor will also make this analyze and um, and tell the players how they how they uh, how they work what well, what worked well what was uh, that, what wasn't that good and uh, then they can uh, see and learn what to bring for everyday life as well so this is how the map is looks like look like uh, those are the virtual points like the fax machines and uh, those numbers represents the order of the points so uh, that's how the teams can communicate to each other. So, for example, if they uh, answer incorrectly point number 17, they can say that team point number 17 is answered incorrectly. Maybe some other teams can help them out. Uh, now, about some cool features. Um, as I already told that uh, I think the most, the coolest or my favorite uh, feature in this game is that if somebody is answering this question incorrectly, this point uh, closes for this team for a half an hour. So basically they can't, next half hour, they can't open this uh, question anymore. And that's why this co cooperation comes into play, that they have to collaborate and communicate to other teams and said, say that, uh, please help, uh, help us out and go answer this. For example, this uh, point 24, uh, uh, correctly for us and um, and yeah I think this is the, the coolest future uh, in, in my opinion in this game uh, so here are some testimonials uh, who the companies who have played uh, our game those are just a few of our clients but uh, maybe most uh, like international ones that everybody can uh, can, can can know uh, so yeah, uh, for example, Bolt, uh, Operations, Ericsson, Esti, uh, Telegax, Credex, and uh, Svia Finance have uh, 
have played our game and the feedback has been very good uh, most of the time. Uh, okay, thank you. This is pretty much it about my presentation. If somebody is feeling that wants to contact me, here are some contact uh, information. Uh, and as I said, this game has can be uh, built everywhere basically in the world. But yeah, if, uh, if you want to uh, play it with our instructor and our equipment, then uh, well, our like the farthest or uh, yeah, first uh, game we have made is from Lithuania. So uh, so yeah, basically we can jump on the plane and come to the other countries as well to 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 make this game possible. So thank you, and hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you uh, for the presentation and. Um and joining us here today. I have one extra bonus question. Do you have any favorite task uh, in the game or any other game you have built, which you, which you actually makes you smile? <laughs> uh, well, well, there are plenty of, <laughs> plenty of uh, my favorite questions, but um, I think uh, this is pro probably one of my favorite ones because this is all, all the time, um, making the discussion uh, between the teams. It's a pretty long question and there is also media inside, but uh, basically uh, participants have to figure out uh, which of two... Uh, so basically the question is here, you can see pictures of two mountain silhouettes. Uh, one of them you can see on the packaging uh, of the chocolate with legend legendary shape. About other both Ernst Hemingway and Astrid Lindgren have written the, in their books. Nowadays, it uh, it's uh, uh, permafrost layer is melting very quickly. It is estimated that it will be uh, gone by year 2040. Because of this, this mo uh, mountain became one of the symbols of the fight against the global warming. So basically, that's 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 I think uh, one of the questions that is uh, making this discussion between the teams most 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 of the, most of the time this sounds like a good discussion piece and a hard puzzle to crack actually yeah mm, very cool um but uh, again thank you for joining us here today and uh, i hope you have a really interesting and um, event and game rich uh, summer season and I hope to see you again in the future, introducing other games. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me and uh, have a good one to yourself. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>